Hey, what's going on? It's Muriel from the Sunshine Family with another uh, Costa Rica expat adventure that I will tell you all about. And it is about, you know, living with dogs in Costa Rica. So if you're thinking about moving to Costa Rica, living in Costa Rica, and uh, yeah, you want to bring your dogs or you want to adopt dogs, I have an amazing story to tell you about how we found, uh, well, you know what? First of all, hang in here. If you are new to this channel, let me properly introduce myself a little bit more. My name is Muriel and I started to make videos about uh, my life in Costa Rica as an expat um, since 2018 because that's when we moved. I moved with my husband and two kids from the Netherlands to Costa Rica and it has been the mo most exciting adventure ever. And everything I've learned so far, uh, a lot of people start to ask me questions. So I decided I'm gonna make videos about it to serve a lot of people who are thinking about doing the same. So that's basically what my channel is all about. Now, in my today's video, I'm gonna share the story about the dog uh, so first of all, we came here without pets, okay? So we came here each with two suitcases and a backpack with no animals at all. But we already decided once we found a place to settle, let's find a nice dog rescue dog, a, a dog that is, you know, has lived on the street and who deserves a better life and is uh, able to live with a family with, with young children. So that's how we found our first dog, uh, Lucky. And uh, he is still the one and only alpha of the three dogs we have right now. Well, before we knew it, we had three, but that's a different story. Anyways, um, our pack is complete. We have three dogs, two dog rescues and a shepherd that we adopted since he was 10 weeks old. Since we bought this huge property, we thought having an extra big dog is handy. And before we knew it, we had Sophie. She lost a leg. She was hit by a car. She had no home. So we have three amazing dogs. Then the cat walked in. So I feel like, you know, I've done enough. This is what we can handle. You know, having dogs is also a responsibility. So we can give them all they need, care, attention, medical care, medication. So, and then this happened. Uh, let me share some visual um, here that I made, um, that I posted in our Santa Teresa community Facebook group to ask for people's help, to ask people if they knew this dog. And actually it was the start of a journey that I'm about to share here uh, about my expat life in Costa Rica. So yeah, here is how the dog that is about to being adopted by others that we fostered. This is how we found her. This is how she looked like. So since I was not by car at that moment that we saw that dog, I was with the quad with my son. It was hard to, to just, you know, to transport her. Also, I wasn't sure if she would have puppies because her nipples were so huge. And I actually didn't know really what to do. So I finally decided to ask for help for a trespassing car with an amazing girl. And we brought the dog to the vet in the next closest town where she got medication and a couple of hours to stay so meanwhile so she was dewormed there and got some food I, I paid for it like I was like you know we figured out there's a pet rescue um, it's always good to do something that's helpful for animals so I was like okay and then let's find help let's see if she's lost by someone and I was chatting with all contacts. And at that moment, my husband said, why don't we just bring her home and foster her and give her a safe place. And then we take it from there and find a home for her. At that very moment, the vet called me that she escaped. Uh, the door was open. She, you know, heard a loud noise whatsoever. And she was on the streets in town now. So from the countryside, she was now on the streets in town. I did everything in my power to, to find her. I posted in the community groups with pictures and videos and the ask for help 
to message me to, to spread the news in all the related groups that I'm even not part of and you know get the dog from the street bring her home and then message me and actually that's what happened three days ago I got a message from a contact he remembered my post and he said she's with my uncle at the farm in Kobano um, what do we do so I said well bring me to her please and if it's her um, I will take care of her I will foster her as promised in the first place and that's what we did um, so here's some updates that I made meanwhile uh, after you know a night's sleep this is how she acted and how you know how she was doing She needs a home. Who wants to adopt her? Hey guys, here's an update about the dog that was lost and found again. This is her first walk without a leash. And um, yeah, for who's interested to adopt this amazing creature with very soft character. Within 24 hours, this is how she behaves. Here's some video material because video says more than a thousand words, right? Check it out. There she goes. Thanks to the help of the community was refound <laughs> and now is with us. So we can foster her. The vet just visited. And um so Diane came uh, and she took her blood to check her on heartworm and ulikia and then we will hear the results soon um, she said yeah she seems older than a year might be between one and three years and she seems happy look at her she had her first night she slept with us uh, next to her bed uh, to, because it was thunder, she is really not happy with thunder, not, not uh, comfortable. Our dogs are super chill with her, as you can see. Um, she, she's doing great. So again, I cannot stretch this enough. She will be put up for, fast, for uh, adoption. We will foster her, take care of her, check her out. Be sure that you know what you, you know, what you get, how she does with kids, dogs, cats, staying alone, what her fears are, etc. We have the space, you know, we have two, two and a half, um, five and a half acres, two and a half, I always forget the measurements. We have a lot of space. We go to the river now to have a little walk because she is also... She seemed to be a high energy dog. If she is related to our biggest shepherd, she has Malinois and Doberman in her. And a Malinois shepherds are high, are working dogs. They are high energy. Then people with houses who are gone all day is not a good house for her. We need someone with space. But she is very playful, alert. She is catching little flies. And uh, she's really wonderful with my kids. She's gentle. And she's actually fun. Um, she stays very close to us. As if she has to re rediscover again to be, you know, to be taken care of for her. We don't know anything about her. So, but look, she stays, she stays with us close to Dirk. She's in love with Dirk. She did the same with me when Dirk was going to the gym this morning. So yeah, this is just an impression. <laughs> so it's the first time we're bringing her here. 
This is at the side of our property. Hey, Millie! Oh, we call her Millie. Millie. Okay, Here's our Joey. There is our Lucky. And there is Millie. We don't know where the other dog is. I think she's still with my daughter in the house. She's drinking a lot of river water. Look at that. As you can see, she still needs a lot of nutrition. She's super skinny. And let's uh, cross her thumbs that she has no heartworm and ulikia. But then, well, let's see. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Oh, just chilling. Just chilling. Amazing. Oh my god, it's a bit weird. Like, I still am. I have tears of joy actually, but she just got adopted by the people who came to visit her. It, it went very, very, very energetic with our own dogs and checking each other out. They brought their dog, they have a similar dog, a female. And they decided we're going to work with her, we're going to train her, we're going to give her what she needs. And those are great people who know a lot about dogs and stuff. So with full with confidence and gratitude and thankfulness, um, we helped her in the car. And uh, they live right at the beach in the house with a garden which is fenced. So she's going to have an amazing life. So this is one of the examples, you know. I. I shared it in my previous video. It's always good to adopt a pet rescue dog if you want to adopt a dog anyways. Like there will be always like puppies to find, but like why why would you breed more, breed more puppies if there's amazing dogs waiting for you at the pet rescue? Now I happened to find this dog myself on the streets. I refound her after she ran off and we fostered her for three days and three nights three nights and two and a half days actually and we already found an amazing home for her they were already in search for a second dog a female dog a dog like hers theirs which this dog happened to be so everyone is happy i feel fulfilled uh we have enough dogs that is actually my mission if you uh, to tell people don't just adopt too many dogs you have to draw the line in the sand like until you can give them all their need. It's fine. We have three dogs, two pet rescues and our shepherd and a cat. Our pack is complete. We are happy we could do this for this dog. And this was just a huge uh, Costa Rica expat adventure for us. Figuring this stuff out. I, I never grew up with dogs. I never had dogs. I had cats in the Netherlands. So I hope that my video somehow uh, was valuable for you perhaps it was just entertaining i don't know this is part of my life in costa rica part of my my day-to-day -day life living amongst the nature um eating from my trees being outside with my dogs going to the beach we work from home if you never um if you didn't know that before this is why we are able to live in costa rica we work from home online we can work from wherever we open up our laptops right so yeah um thank you for watching my my costa rica expat adventure today and let me hear your comments below of course if you want to learn more yourself about um you know if you want to learn what it is that i do online click the very first link below my video or just scroll to the description below there's a world of information there 
um, you can click on the links and connect with me, reply to this video. Anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. And again, thanks for subscribing. That supports my channel. And I am looking forward to meeting you soon one day in Costa Rica. Bye for now. This was Muriel.